بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين عليه السلام موسى said وعجلت إليك ربي لترضى This is the most profound statement So beautiful Musa said, Oh Lord, I hasten towards you. I rush towards you so you can be pleased with me. Musa alayhi salam was ordered to bring his people, but 70,000 of Bani Israel with children, women, young and old animals, it was taking too much. So Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, just to give you over head of the story, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, he said to Harun, you bring them, I'm going to meet Allah. So Allah said, وَمَا أَعْجَلَكَ عَنْ قَوْمِكَ يَا مُوسَى He said, Musa, why did you leave your nation behind? He said, they right coming, Ya Allah, they coming right after me. وَعَجِلْتُ إِلَيْكَ رَبِّ لِتَرْضَى But I came forth so you'd be pleased with me. The ulama rahimahumallah said, a mu'min should always rush towards the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah can be pleased with that person subhanallah. But not only rushing, but you better perfect the ibadah that you're performing because you are performing a ibadah. You are performing in front of Allah. Zain al Abidin, the grandson al Hassan bin Ali radiyallahu anhu, when the adhan is called, he used to tremble and he used to turn red and his face used to change colors. And the people used to say, Ya ibn, ya, what is wrong? It is just the adhan. And he used to say, Atadruna bayna yaday man saqif. Do you know in front of whose hand I'm going to stand? Yani, not only wa'ajiltu ilayka rabbi li tarda, it's not only that we rush to a salah, but look what this tabi'i is teaching us from the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa He said, do you know whom I'm going to perform in front? Yani, ajib al-amr. If now I'm going for a job interview, I was sure that I rehearse what I'm going to say. I'm ready for any question that is being thrown at me. I'm ready to answer. I know my art. I know my, you know, this is what I live for. But what about when we're performing ibadah for Allah? Now consider your salah and my salah. As soon as I say, Allahu Akbar, my qalb fi kulli wadin yahi. My heart is everywhere except in salah. My heart will go after my children, after my job, my heart will go, you know, will remind things, you know, that is not relevant to the salah. And subhanallah, and Allah is, is listening to my recitation. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we recite, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Qala Hamadani Abdi, Allah said, my servant praised me. Yani, now imagine, if you're standing in front of a normal ruler or king, your intention would be focused and you will try to understand every statement that comes out of his mouth. You will try to understand every word that he utters. You will try to pay attention to every gesture. To you will understand, try to understand, to follow every order. Now here Allah is saying, come and pray. But our qalb fi kulli wadin yahi. Now Musa was on a different level. وَعَجِلْتُ إِلَيْكَ Look at the show إلى عبادة الرحمن. Look at the show. You know, he loved his whole nation, his ummah. And he said, وَعَجِلْتُ إِلَيْكَ Ya Allah, I rushed, I hastened, I came here so you can be pleased with me, Ya Allah. Now that is التلذذ بالعبادة. This is what we call, you know, tasting the sweetness of ibadah. Now, subhanAllah, I ask myself and ask you, as soon as you finish your salah, as soon as you finish Ramadan, as soon as I feel we finish hajj, do you really taste the sweetness of the ibadah that we prefer? Do we? Or do we just do rituals? Because I can do mechanical moves. I can, I can bow down, that's a rukur. I can prostrate, that's a sujood. I can turn my face left and right, that's a taslim. I can move my fingers, I can raise my hands. This is all mechanical. It is not the spiritual, it's not the soul of the prayer. And the Messenger of Allah said, Inna Allah la yanzuru ila suwarikum. 
ولا إلى أجسامكم. الله does not care whether you're black or white. الله does not care whether you're fat or you know skinny, you're thin or white. الله does not care if you're tall or short. الله cares. قال ولكن however he looks into your hearts and into your actions. Action by itself is not enough. Heart by itself is not enough. So Allah is looking into both of them at the same time. So ya ibad Allah. وَعَجِلْتُ إِلَيْكَ رَبِّ لِتَرْضَى should be the recipe of a sweetness of ibadah. Sweetness of ibadah. Some of the salihin used to say, my ham and my concern is not getting into a salah, it's getting out of the salah. He said, my ham, my concern is not establishing the salah because I can do that easily. But my concern is when am I going to leave the salah because I don't want to leave salah. Now that is the sweetness of ibadah. نسأل الله أن يرزقنا ذلك. We ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to give us the sweetness of ibadah. وبارك الله فيكم على حسن استماعكم. And thank you very much for listening. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.